Hello, Susan here. Today I'm making another little video for Happy Little Stampers and I'm using this specially for you again. But instead of using the big flower, I'm using this little one and Happy Birthday. This is the card I'm going to make for you. First thing I'm going to do is emboss my stamp. So I take a piece of card, I'm going to rub it with um, an anti-static mat and tap that. This will make the image clearer. Um, you can use a commercial one like this or make your own little ha handmade little bag and fill it with corn flour or baby powder. It'll work just the same. So I've tapped that off. I'm now going to add some um, watermark stamp to my stamp. And once it's looking glossy, then you know that you've got enough on it. You might be able to see that. Then I'm going to add some embossing powder. I've got my embossing powder in a shallow tray because when it's a small image like this, you can just tip the embossing powder over knock it off and it's straight back into the uh, tray. Next, I need my heat gun. I'm doing this from underneath, so maybe you can see it melting. Ah, there it goes, can you see that melting? The next step is to add colour to the image. So I've got some Distress ink here. I'm just going to smear some onto my mat. That's mowed lawn and this is Victorian velvet. And then I'm just going to spritz those I've just spritzed those with a bit of water and I'm going to use those to paint the image. Now I'm just going to add a bit of green. Don't waste this just here. Mop that up with a piece of card. This is actually watercolour paper and it can be used for another background at some stage. Now, the next step is to use my brayer and add some uh, Distress Ink to this piece of card. Um, this is Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. And what you do is add it to your brayer in a roll and lift way. And then you add it to your card also in a roll and lift way. <clears throat> Don't roll back and forth. And keep doing this until you've got a good density of ink. In a similar way, I'm going to add fired brick to this piece of card. So there are my pieces of card. To this one, I'm going to add some more of the image stamped and I'm going to use more of the fired brick. And I'm just going to stamp this randomly over the card.
Next, I'm going to just distress around the edges with some more of the fired brick. I've trimmed the flower to make a small motif and I've trimmed the fired brick background so it's just slightly larger and I'm going to stick that on with white glue. So now I'm going to assemble my card. This is a white card base. I'm going to stick this here and that there and then just stamp happy birthday down here and then the final thing will be just to stick some gems just there so that's today's card i hope you've enjoyed my little video see you again soon bye